Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're gonna to be testing the abrasion resistance between these two popular lines. This first one is Power Pro. This is traditional Power Pro. So we have the yellow is Power Pro. The white line is Spider Wire Invisibrade. Both, again, popular lines. They're both rated at 10 pounds. Um, and that's just obviously the, the line rating. We're gonna do a separate test that's gonna, gonna actually calculate and measure you know, the actual true breaking strength of the line. So again, for now, it's all about abrasion. And then we're gonna mimic you know, what happens when a line wraps around, say like a dock piling or something like a dock piling with the barnacles or some sharp objects. So we have this, uh, this pole and we have this yellow part of sandpaper. And the, here are the two lines, so the Power Pro and then the uh, Spider Wire. Both of them have a weight that's the exact same weight hanging from it. So the same tension are on, uh, on both lines. And then I'm going to twist this pole, which is gonna twist the, the sandpaper and uh, whichever one falls first is the weakest one. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and uh, we'll see which one goes. So I'll just go nice and slow, constant, constant pressure. Well, that was really close. The uh, Invisibrade went just a, a split second faster, but, uh, but it was really close and, uh, and we'll have to do that one again. All right, so round two, I actually switched, uh, I switched line size just to make sure that the, uh, the testing uh, apparatus is good. The weight stayed the same. We, all we did was change the line. So now we have the white on this side, the yellow on this side, and let's, uh, let's see what happens. So we're just gonna go again, nice and slow. And uh, last time it was almost at the exact same time. And uh, let's see, oh, yep, so there goes the spider wire. And, uh, and there goes the Power Pro. So that's now two in a row. Again, it happened on both sides. So I'll go ahead and say that the Power Pro is the, the slight victor in this, but given how close it was, I don't believe that this experiment will help us decide one way or the other. This isn't like a landslide victory by any means. So we really want to uh, take into account, you know, the, uh, the knot strength as well as the casting distance. Those are two very, very important factors. And we're gonna be measuring those as well so if you're on our website now uh, you can scroll down and see those videos but if you're on youtube or facebook i'll put a link down below where you can go to the post that is going to contain the, the full analysis of, uh, of these two lines and just so you know we're, we're not affiliated with any of these line companies you know we're just truly on a quest to uh to find the best line like the best value line for uh for our fishing needs and we'll be happy to, to share all of the results uh, with you totally free of charge. So anyhow, that's it for now. Leave a question down below if you have any. Otherwise, I hope you can get out of the water soon and catch the big ones. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live so strong and wet